We have insanely active Monday morning. One more trade and I'm out. We've been open only an hour, six trades. Exhausting, extremely dangerous to over trade. What did we witness when we came to the markets this morning? We witnessed very powerful bullish rally on S&P that collapsed completely from this level. We didn't touch anything this morning on S&P. We knew extremely well that at any moment sellers will step in, correct? We waited for the push down and we took it up. Pay attention what happened. We took it up and S&P collapsed from 2058. What did we do? Then we took it down, down, down. Here is my beautiful short trade. What will S&P do next? Will it finally come to my target? 2054 and a quarter is extremely important level. Very small time frame on S&P. It is in. Buckle up. Adjust your stop outside of break even and monitor the response in reversal zone. How cool is trading? Traders, you know what reversal zone means, correct? It means at any moment S&P will take a pause. Pretty please, second target is in 2053. Trail very, very carefully. Will the buyers step in at this moment or will the sellers continue? We're also seeing pretty powerful push on oil. But as I spelled out, extremely active morning on oil. Let's pay attention to S&P. Drastically different structure on S&P than oil. S&P is doing very powerful ranging dance back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Clear? We took it up and then we took it down, down, down. We know the importance of this reversal zone. If S&P blasting through this level, it's heading here one step at a time. 2053 is respected. S&P is struggling to break through. Will it find buyers? I don't think so. I think it's only a pause. But what do I know is the only important thing. Reversal zone is never, ever, ever to be ignored. And here it is. A bit of a pause. Clear? Your trail is way outside of break-even. What a marvelous morning. Three points on the first trade. And here it is. Another three points on the second trade. And if you listen to me this morning, if you respected what oil was telling you, you've taken that painless long trade and you knew when to get out. Oil is hanging for dear life. And if this level is broken, oil is heading to 69. It's that simple. No need to make trading complicated. So, extremely active morning, four trades on oil, two instant long ones. Reminding you, if you're trading oil, you are very, very experienced trader. The formations we are seeing on oil, levels I haven't touched on oil in five years, had been broken. Oil is heading to 6290. If you can trade one minute chart, and your account size allows you so, you can trade monthly. Price spelled out five years ago that oil heading to 62.90. 62.90 is broken. Oil is heading to 43. Woohoo! Exactly where S&P is heading to now. S&P is breaking through. Next, reversal zone. Pay attention to reversal zone 2 is in 2051.75. Adjust your trail even closer. 20 and 54 and a quarter. It's that simple. Happy December 1st, everybody. Magic happens if you play by the rules. We're going into class after the close of the trading room. For Fibonacci Trading Bootcamp, we have only five spots left. If you pay attention to the price, if you play by the rules, the skies are the limit. 
is heading south, 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 traders. Next level on S&P, 205050, S&P blasting through this level. We are going into a larger wave extension. Is that clear? If 205050 broken, S&P heading drastically lower down. And that's the magic of the price. That simple. Know what not to enter into. All the levels spelled out by the price since Thursday. Nowhere to expect a bit of a painful pause. My trade is a little struggling. Struggling, struggling, struggling because it's a reversal zone. All it has to do blast through 205050 will go into larger wave expansion. But our barometer is telling us otherwise. Our barometer is telling us buyers trying to step in. Pay attention to barometer, my beautiful students, who are the marvelous case study. Which is shorted oil as well. Trade number seven. We are out of control. You're witnessing the danger. How many trades can I do? If oil is blasting through reversal zone, I'm going into a wave expansion. We are in two trades. Currently, we are 30 ticks, 20 ticks later on oil. Trail carefully. Trail outside of break even. Your trail is currently 67.45. This is my oil chart. Oil taking a pause because of reversal zone. Again, do not ignore where we are on S&P. S&P remains in a bit of a pause because of reversal zone. Will oil finally blast? Yes, 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 Richard, absolutely. After the graduation, you can join Alpha Wave Traders Club. We have students who come in and out for years. Currently, I have a student who came back three years later. I'm not going anywhere. I love, love, love what I do unless something mysterious and miraculous will happen. So, once course is finished, you want to stay with students, you belong in Alpha Wave Traders Club. We have Forex traders and stock traders and option traders who are still coming to Fibonacci classes on Fridays. You have access to those simply by joining Alpha Wave Traders Club. So here we go, both oil and S&P in reversal zone, both stuck completely. Why did we expect the reversal on oil? Because oil had been stuck at this level for the last two hours. Is that clear? You remember what I told you. S&P loves this level. That's exact same level where S&P collapsed from on daily. Know your levels and pay attention to very crucial resistance levels spelled out by Fibonacci. Confirming nothing in this world is random. How much fun can trading be? Only if you play by the rules, only if you obey the price, and if you know what happens when oil comes to reversal zone. Is that clear? At any moment, I may be buying oil. Both oil and S&P in reversal zone. Seven trades in less than an hour and a half on December 1st. All trades reached crucial targets. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Let's finish up this trade and I look forward to answering your questions. How cute is S&P? Thank you, baby. You just blasted through all the targets. Let's go down, down, down. Are you ready for some wave expansion? Let's do it. We blasted six points later we're almost seven points later on s p and look what oil is doing if you know where reversal zone is you know where to take profits of the table as spelled out each and every time do not ignore the fact traders what's happening next year what is happening next year we are seeing that s p monthly coming to reversal zone are you ready 
It's gonna start very, very exciting. We'll S&P reverse first time in five years. Will gold stage powerful buying opportunity? Remains to be seen. We are not far off from crucial levels. It's gonna be extremely exciting year. If you can trade one minute, you can trade monthly. Rules remain the same. So, let's go in the wave expansion on S&P and let's remember, if you know the rules, seven trades later, we are out. We've been open less than an hour and a half. We're going into the trade recap in any second. I also would like to take a look at gold and euro. Next level on S&P, 2048. Our lovely seven point collapse on S&P just coming to abrupt final end. Reversal zone three, 2048 found buyers. At any moment I will be buying, but it's extremely active, active December 1st, seven trades in less than an hour and a half. So I'm not really keyed on trading right now. I much rather discuss Tony Robbins book, Money, Master the Game, Seven Simple Steps to Financial Freedom.